Are you excited about this? I'm a bit excited. How excited are you? On a scale of, give me the scale. One to ten. Ten. Uh, I've never been to Newcastle before. I've heard they're lovely people, very friendly, and uh, if you're on the television, they're always jumping around with tattoos and no shirts on and stuff in the crowds. <laughs> and uh, they love going out and having a good time. I've seen that. Um, I don't know if you've seen Geordie Shaw. Why are you, man? Whoa. <laughs> that's what they do on the show. That's, is this your... Tr is this your... Yeah, I'm really sorry. OK. Um, sure, you can just sit next to me if you'd like. No, no, it's, uh, you've got a boyfriend of me. I can't get the... Sorry, I'm so... Sorry, thank you. Is he bigger than me, or is he...? You left your rail card. Oh. What is man? What is it that defines him? Are we as we ever were? From courting to Tinder, from Waterloo to 2am burger van bust-ups, from goblets of fine wine to fluorescent shots in nightclubs, I want to find out exactly what has become of us, and so I've travelled the length and breadth of Britain to find an answer. Will I succeed? Mm, probably not, but I'll try my hardest. I always do. On arrival in town, I went up to St James's Park and had a lovely chat about football with a man who reminded me that Newcastle is home to the popular pastry chain Greg's. Football is life and death to Newcastle fans. Sweet. It's, uh, yeah, it's something you're born into. Yeah. You're not raised, it's there for you all the time. It's in your blood, right? It, it's in your blood, absolutely. When I was at school, I suffered from asthma and aggressive puppy fat, so mostly got put in goal. Packet of crisps in one hand, can of coke in the other. But they're more serious than that up here. As I found out after meeting up with local team Red House Farm FC, who, rather counterintuitively, play in blue. Lads, 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 lads! Uh, so, Tom, like, big, big match today, right? Yeah, well, I've been asked down by Red House FC, which is a local football club in one of the top divisions here in the North East. They've responded to, but they, th they just want me to join in. Um, so I'm going to have a little training session with them, in the same way Gerard's training with Liverpool at the moment, I suppose. Um, so, fingers crossed, um, it'll be good. It's going to be a competitive match, and uh, the joke is I'm actually really good at football. Ah. I instantly felt part of the team and, dressed in the manager's own kit, felt the lads were beginning to respect me, which I'd predicted to myself would happen, so I was pretty pleased. Just give him a football ship in there. He looks as much as a footballer as probably my mum does. It's a local club and a lot of people from that area they get a good chance to come along and do something on the weekend, which makes a big difference to some people. It's extremely tiring. He plays Sunday, I play Sunday, then we play five aside on a, on a Monday, then we train on a Tuesday. Sometimes we play on a Wednesday. It's like, like constant, but like, it's, it's just a way of life, isn't it, really, you know what I mean? I've played football ever since I was seven years old, and I love the game. There's no quitting football for me. I'm going to play until I can't walk. You make friends which become part of your life. Rather frustratingly, the lads were a bit better than I assumed they'd be and were clearly trying to show off for the cameras, which was a bit annoying. So I decided to stay behind and curl multiple wonder shots into the top corner of an admittedly empty net. Smash. I found myself in a familiar position, the dreaded shower sitch. I haven't shown my willy to another boy since I was about nine and that was to my best friend Jeremy, who promised he wouldn't tell. Anyway, not going to start flapping my bits about in public now. Not for anyone. Not even the BBC. Yeah, well, you lads have to sing a song like that. I can, I can, I can do that. You choose your own, though. I get to choose my own? Yeah. Sweet. No one else can feel it for you. No, Only you can <laughs> let it in. No one else, no one else can feel the rain on your... I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> I journeyed back with two of the lads from the team who'd clearly taken a liking to me, Paul and Marty. The conversation was pretty awkward, so they panicked and began trying to teach me a traditional Geordie song. How's it go? All the, all oh, the lads. Let's just say it's. Oh, me lads. Oh, me lads. You should have seen us going and going along the Scotland road. Just as they were standing, all the lads and lasses there and all the smiling faces going along the Scotland road. And Martin Paul is great, man. Do you think you bonded with him? I think I have. I think I bonded with the whole team, but there was a bit where some of the lads were trying to take the mick out of me. And they came over to me like, listen, that's not, how, that's not what this is about. That's signs of the lads. Hey. Keep up here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was great. We're going to go out now with Marty and Paul. Do you know Mr Bean? Hello, look. Great. Time to party with Paul and Marty. Um... I lost my train ticket, though, as well. This is two that I've done now in one day. 
After categorically proving I was good company, Marty invited me over to his mother's house for pre-drinks. I think the last time I was invited to someone's mother's house was Jade Horvath's 11th birthday. I accidentally pooed my pants after one too many cherry panda pops and was sent home. You come in later, please. You were knackered doing the walk, the uh, drill, weren't you? I was, uh, I, 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 was. I, was I was glad I was with him. I was like, <laughs> if anything, if Marty said anything, I was like, I'm looking after him, it's fine. <laughs> How was the food, mate? Windy. Very windy, windy, cold. Um, we didn't do much running, did we? We didn't, no, no. We had a good tactic of starting away for the ball. Pass! Pass! Nice game. You did all right, you were running around it. Let's say, our group of fans, we would do things that you might think that's not funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's that like, what? Like, like, what, for example? Oh, uh, like charades? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four. One, One word. word. Sounds like... Sounds like cock. Yeah. 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 Oh, Inception! Yeah! Charades is my game. The only time I've ever lost was when my best mate Jeremy deliberately gave me the Englishman who climbed a hill and came down a mountain. The cretin. Anyway, before heading into town, my new best friends took me down to their clubhouse for more pre-drinks with their teammates, forward slash my future friends. The main room through here, um, where people come before games and stuff like that. The lads had pulled an absolutely classic prank on me, and thanks to the two pints of milk I'd prepped my tummy with, I was rather looking forward to getting boozy with them. <laughs> we're playing tomorrow, tomorrow's about our film. Yeah. He went, he's doing this, and me and Marty are like, what the fuck? You could see him get really annoyed, we're like, what? He's getting he's self conscious. <laughs> yeah. And like, he got to a point where he just kept doing it, we're like, we're not going to get it, boss, what is it? And he went, Spider Man. <laughs> and I went, fuck it, we, we were like, we're like, we're going, Psh. yeah. He's just smoking. That's what I've done. I love playing with my mates. That's all I want to do is play with my mates and have a good laugh. It doesn't matter what sort of week you've had at work, you'll, you'll turn up on a Saturday knowing somebody is going to have done something on the Friday or have a story that's going to make you laugh. Just needed the keys from the office for the um, tractor. Will this gas all the way there? What do I think of Paul and Marty? Be careful. I think Be careful. Well, I mean, I don't want to, you know, assume anything here, but I feel like they're pretty close friends of mine now. Yeah, yeah. That's, that was really him. The little tractor was obviously a no-go, so a lovely cabbie who reminded me of René from Allo Allo drove us into town for a wild night that hopefully will follow the exact pattern of Geordie Shaw. Drink, dance, fight. Get in the bed! Shag Not in here, you won't, pal. <laughs> These boys had welcomed me into their world, and regardless of my scruffy clothes and grating southern accent, I was super grateful for it. I couldn't wait to see how the night would pan out and our friendship blossom. <laughs> what are we going now? There's a grubby little man with the grubby little trainers. And that was it, he had to go. Simple as that. Gone. Gone. He's grubby little trainers for 70 pounds, you fuck. Oh, fuck you, Anyway, go on. It's go on. him. It's him. <laughs> what happened? You saw what happened. I got slapped in the head by a bald man for wearing trainers in a club. What is this? 2004? Through these fields of destruction. Freezing cold, this is too much, I think. Baptisms of fire. I've witnessed your suffering. As the battle reached time. So, Tom, what have you learned in your trip to Newcastle? I've learned I probably shouldn't wear crappy trainers in a nightclub, which is a bit annoying. And, yeah, I've just had a good example of what friendship is, really. I mean, ultimately, it was a bit annoying that they didn't kind of... the lads didn't come out when I got in trouble.
My time in Newcastle had drawn to a close and I'd learnt a few things. One, football is more than life and death, it's more than that. And two, I think Paul and Marty have become genuine friends of mine, which is nice. Tom is welcome to come and stay at mine whenever he wants. I'd be whenever happy. he wants. Say the same thing he said. Whenever he wants. OK, so that's it. Quick thanks to the lads at Red House Farm FC, Paul and Marty in particular. Also thanks to the bouncer who kicked me out of the club, as on reflection it created some much needed drama to the episode. Anyway, till next time. How are you, the lads? <laughs> I went to play at Reds at the midnight of June. The hope you missed the 62 on a summer's afternoon. I jumped the bus at Pamela, because he was heavy laden. And where we went along Collingwood Street, that's on the way to play.